So you might be in a situation where for some reason your iPhone is just not renaming any of the Bluetooth devices that it actually has connected to it. So if we go and make our way over to our Bluetooth settings here, if we go and click on Bluetooth, some of these names right here, actually I think most of these names are actually changeable. But sometimes, for example, if we go and click on our AirPods right here, if we go and try to rename them, we actually don't have the ability of doing this. Now the main reason why this ends up happening is because you do actually kind of need those devices to be connected to your specific iPhone in order for them to actually be renamed. So in this case, if we go and bring our, you know, as you can see, none of nothing is connected. If we go and bring our AirPods 3s close to our iPhone, you will see that they will go and, you know, show up right here and they will start to be connected. So you can see my AirPods now are connected to my specific iPhone. So if I wanted to rename them, all I would have to do is click on I. You will see a bunch of stuff but you will also see the name up top. Now, this is one example. I think a lot of different Bluetooth devices are like this, including, I think, Apple Watches, maybe HomePods as well. Like, a lot of devices are like this from Apple. So if you wanted to change the name, what you want to do here is click on the name up here, and then you'll be able to change the name. So the first thing and the main thing I can recommend doing is just make sure your specific AirPods or Bluetooth devices in general are connected to your iPhone, and then try renaming them. A lot of the time, that's all you're going to have to do, and that is exactly what you're going to have to do here. So even with this Xbox wireless controller, I won't be able to rename anything unless they're actually connected to my device. So definitely keep that in mind. Now, for some reason, that's not working. Another thing you can try doing is updating your iPhone. So go into your iPhone settings here, go and click on General, click on Software Update, and try updating your iPhone if there is an update available. If there isn't, like there's not one for me, then maybe you want to wait out for another update. You can also try restarting your iPhone as well. But those are pretty much the main ways to fix it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, help me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.